The Price Academy, Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing Elizabeth Bathory, the Blood Countess. Countess Elizabeth Bathory was a Hungarian noblewoman and reputed serial killer of hundreds of young women in the 16th and 17th centuries. Stories of her chilling brutality quickly became part of national folklore and she earned herself the nickname the Blood Countess or Countess Dracula. Elizabeth came from the noble Protestant family, Bathory, who owned land in the Kingdom of Hungary. She spent her childhood at Exed Castle, as seen here. In 1575, Elizabeth married Nadesti, the son of a baron and another member of the aristocracy. Approximately 4,500 guests were invited to their wedding. The young couple lived in Nadesti castles in Hungary. While her husband was away on his frequent trips, his wife ran the estates and took various lovers. After her husband's death in 1604, rumours of Elizabeth's cruelty began to surface. There had been earlier accounts of peasant women being murdered. But it was not until 1609 that rumours that she had killed noble women attracted attention. In 1610, King Matthias assigned an investigator to speak to over 300 people living in the area to investigate the claims. The stories of Elizabeth's murders were further confirmed by physical evidence of mutilated, dying or dead victims at the time of her arrest. According to the testimonies, Elizabeth's initial targets were servant girls aged between 10 and 14. These people were daughters of local peasants and the victims had been lured to the estate by offers of work to be maids or servants in the castle. Later, Elizabeth was said to have killed the daughters of the lesser gentry, sent by their parents to learn courtly etiquette and social advancement. Elizabeth was suspected of having committed many forms of torture on her victims. Survivors and witnesses reported victims experiencing severe beatings, burning or mutilation of hands, freezing or starving to death. According to the Budapest City Archives, victims would be covered in honey and live ants or burned with hot tongs and then placed in freezing water. Elizabeth was said to have stuck needles into her victims' lips or body parts, stabbing at them with scissors or biting off their breasts, faces and limbs. Elizabeth was said to have enjoyed drinking the blood of virgins, believing that it would preserve her beauty and youthfulness. She was also rumoured to bathe in the blood of her young victims. The story says that she developed this habit after slapping a female servant in a rage and she discovered her skin looked younger where the servant's blood had splashed on. However, stories surrounding her vampiric tendencies were recorded years after her death, so are considered unreliable and probably untrue. On the 30th of December 1609, Elizabeth and her servants were arrested under the orders of Terrazzo, the investigator hired by the king. The servants were put on trial in 1611 and three were executed for being Elizabeth's accomplices. Elizabeth herself was never tried, despite King Matthias's wishes. Terezo convinced the king that such an act would damage the nobility. 
And so, despite the overwhelming evidence and testimony against her, Elizabeth was saved from execution. She was imprisoned within the castle for the rest of her life. Elizabeth would stay in the castle until her death in 1614 at the age of 54. According to the Guinness World Records, Elizabeth is the most prolific female murderer and the most prolific murderer of the Western world. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to like and subscribe or follow me at Twitter or at Facebook at TanyRelics38.